Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com, tailoring your entertainment with streaming at www.thestreamingadvisor.com. And today we are looking at a brand new box from Minix. This is the Neo U1. This is a 64-bit quad-core media hub for Android according to the packaging. And what we're going to do is show you what makes this one different than other Mini X or Minix players. One of the big differences is when you go into settings. Take a look at this. What you see is akin to the Android TV settings menu versus the regular you know, Android tablet look. This is a much prettier and easy to um, navigate system. For instance, you're going into your networks. You know, this looks uh, just a lot cleaner and a lot more customized for television. It's very easy to change things like your screen size. You just to make sure it all fits correctly. Nothing worse than when you get into an app and you can't quite see what's all the way to the left. You can set your settings to go to sleep. You can easily see the apps that you've got. Everything that's in the system. It came pre-installed with this stuff. YouTube, Skype, Netflix, Kodi. And uh, I'm going to show you something that I think is really great. Minix, what they do with their Metro launchers, what you see here, is all of these blocks here are basically folders. So, let's say you download games, you would save them and add them to this folder. But they've added some things in ahead of time that I think were really helpful. And something that I think is great is this File Explorer folder here. They added the File Explorer app installer, the system update here, and the ES File Explorer, which is one of my favorite ways to access files that are just on cloud systems and things like that. Now, go ahead and update it. You have to sign into your Google Play account ahead of time so that you can, you know, access apps and things like that but that's easy and quick and just like everything else it also has a new look so this is just a cleaner bigger interface more of a TV interface I am using an air mouse you'll see the little arrow here little cursor but this is a much bigger, brighter interface. Your options to, say, access the network are different. Like if you go into, let's see, add account. You know, this, this is acknowledging that I'm signed in. But and if you go to Add Account, it's going to have a different sort of layout. Like I said, more, more like your TV layout. Instead of the blue and gray and black screen that was kind of you know, confusing with the weird arrows, it's much more intuitive and basic. So I'm not going to sign in right now because I'm already signed in. And, but, you know, you would just follow the instructions, your email, your password. You're done. You're in. But I like how they have some apps already in place. Miracast, of course, is a Android function that allows you to mirror tablets and you know, Windows computers. The movie player is a regular thing. Kodi. Let's check out Kodi. Let's see what version of Kodi this is. That's Jarvis. Okay. Jarvis is not the latest version of Kodi, but you can easily download a new Kodi by just going into the browser and saving it. In fact, we can do that right now. All 
right, we are in, so we'll just say Cody. I believe it's Cody.tv, but whoops. K-O-D-I, all right. Yep, Cody.tv. Loads. Oh, I see. So they're up to Jarvis Beta. I think we're just going to keep keep it where we are right now. But you see, with the browser, you can easily go to any site you want to get information or apps. One of my favorites, Aptoid. Or Aptoid, however you say it. <laughs> well, it's not up here, oh, there we are. Mm -mm. How do you get to the actual website? I know I'm using a search instead of going into the URL bar. I'm aware of this. There we are. See, this website, if you're not familiar with it, is a great alternative app store for Android. It has things that you can't find in the Google Play Store, so that's very helpful to know. You can also download an outright app and add it to your box. But this is a nice nice looking box it's so you've seen this in action here's a little bit about the guts this has full 4k hardware decoding it gets the 60 megahertz 4k instead of 30 megahertz which is going to make a big difference in your 4k playback it has android 5.1.1 os that's the lollipop they haven't jumped to marshmallow yet it has dual band Wi-Fi, which is a good strong connection. That's what we've been using for this demo. It has an ARM Cortex A53 quad core processor, Mali 450 Pentacore GPU, and two gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. If you want to take a look, um, we can uh, show you a quick demo of the Cody in action with just an app just so you see how it loads. It's perfectly fast. As you see, you can look at all of your apps right there. We've just got a couple of things. We've got CBS News. CBS this morning, and we'll see if we've got a strong enough collection here. Let's see. See, it looks real nice, real clear. In general, I think that this is a nice, strong new Android system here. I've always liked the Metro Launcher. I love the All Tasks Killer. That you know, closes down everything you've got going. I think that the playback for everything looks real nice. Check out, like, for instance, Continuum. Let's see how that looks. Look, we get the full closed captioning. All right, so that's the Minix, Mini X, however you like to say it. It's all up to you. This is a free country, and. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor.
please subscribe and stream on, my friends.